What's good? It's the clans coming at you yet again on another hot and steamy but yet windy day trying to provide that fulfilling yet hopefully enlightening piece of information to serve as the building blocks for your success, your growth, your progress, or whatever movement you're currently moving in. So with that being said, let's get it in. Let's keep it real, man. Let, let's keep it real. All right. My generation, especially, we see a lot of sexually frustrated motherfuckers running around. Okay. Now what is sexual frustration? Where does that really come from? Well, I'll tell you what, man. When you look at the dynamic of the matrix and you start to see that, okay, obviously it's qua it's quantity over quality out here. It doesn't matter if you have how many women you have as long as you have more of them, okay? And as men, it's like whatever, you feel me? Like, yeah, that's great, blah, blah, blah. Now, what happens is, though, if, if the sex and the practice of sex isn't really put into perspective for what it is, and you're not being taught what it's really used for and how to use, manage your reproductive organs, then you're missing a large piece of the puzzle that is gonna manifest as frustration. With that being said, what happens is, is I see with a lot of men, especially men, like I see even, even you know, it doesn't really matter what the gender is, but I'll just, I'll stick to men because I am one, is that a lot of men that have a lot of sexual partners, multiple partners, are very sexually frustrated. Now, how does this really work? Well, I think that, one, sex is obviously a sacred act, okay? And it's something that we have just thought of as an everyday thing, like it's, you know, like going to lunch or, you know, washing your hands. When really, for a very, very long time, and even till this day, sex is held as a sacred bond between the masculine and the feminine energy in order to cultivate and produce life okay it sounds intense well shit, it is intense okay but what happens is is when these two poles and these two people are not connecting together right they're not they're not really bonding and syncing with each other on a deeper level and you're just running around and you're just like spilling your life force because that's what men do. They just they spill it all the time as if it's just infinite and it's never going to run out. That turns into frustration because you don't have any connection with these people, right? These relations, these individuals, these you you the only thing that really you connect with is very superficial because once it's over, once that climax has concluded, Right. You out the door, you on to the next whatever. Right. Now, in addition to that, we have to understand what sperm. Right. And what ejaculating really is. People are confused. And, and a lot of the shit that they've been taught about sex is just a bold face fucking lie. OK. Or they're just I shouldn't even say that. It's just what's so funny about the public education system is that they just straight up don't tell you. They don't try to like misinform you. They just won't talk about it at all. Well, I'm here to tell you that sex and when you ejaculate, right, you are spilling the life force. You are bringing it outward. OK, and the only time that is really supposed to happen is when you are wanting to produce life. OK, we have essentially accepted it as a form of relief, as if we need to do it just to, you know, calm our nerves down and, you know, keep our blood pressure down so we don't, you know, fuck around and become uptight or even have a heart attack. But the truth is that what happens is that that life force, OK, because we're all just a fucking really a grown up piece of sperm that turned into an egg. Like to think about where we came from, the sperm came and fertilized our mother's eggs and we cultivated as voila, yours truly. Right. But so so if we accept that, we have to understand that that is life sperm is life like like your life force all right is life men and women okay it doesn't matter you feel me but like i said i'm just talking about men because that's what i could relate to but when you're not accepting that this life force is your fuel and it's something that actually you could cultivate from within right rather than constantly spilling it all the time and wasting it you're almost wa people are wasting it these days because it's just going in a rubber or whatever 
And we're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it too. And I still do it. Like, right, I still nut. But the truth is this. Like, I'll be honest with myself. So I have to be honest with you. Is that, you know, there is millions of sperm cells, right? And just like a drop of your sperm. Okay. And those are all potential seeds to life, right? This is creation we're talking about here. This is not some fucking ice cream and sunshine fairy tale. This is real life, right? This is life. Okay. So, you know, when we spill this all the time, right, we have to understand that, that these fluids, right, are directly connected to the cerebral spinal fluid that, that connects to our brain, like that communicates to our brain, right? That when we, when we bust a nut, we are losing all of this energy that comes from cerebral spinal fluid comes from our fucking brain, all right? If you, if you want to keep it simple, we're losing a lot of fluid that is supposed to run to our brain. And when we nut, right, as a male, of course, there is a rebuilding process that takes place. However, there is, there is constantly going to be an argument over how detrimental that is for men, all right, and women, okay? Women are different, though, because they can bounce back. And we know this, right? Women can bounce back very quicker than men, okay? So... We don't need to go into that, but either way, it is it it is taking your life force. And the truth is, if you don't really understand one, why you're having sex, who you're having sex with, really what sex is all about, okay? And and you're just abusing your the force that can create life and create relief and create bliss, right? Because when you look into sex deeply. Right. You look into like Kegel exercises, you know, uh, different um, practices where you can really this is these reproductive organs are the most important muscles. And when you work on them. Right. And you start to really understand that, like you can cultivate this energy, this everything is about whatever you want to call it, man. People call it chi. People call it prana. People call it whatever the fuck you want to call it. But this is real. This is this is our essence. Right. So when you deliberately set the intent to cultivate this, right, and take care of it and arbor it, there's, there are uh, many what we would consider sexual adepts, right, that, that claim, you know, you can, you can, by controlling your lower pleasures, right, and, and really getting a grip on it mentally and spiritually, you can move it throughout your physical body. And because this is the essence to life and and the building blocks to uh, health, it can actually provide healing sensations throughout your body. And that's what keeps many of these masters young and in full health, right? And again, that's, you know, you have to do this research yourself and come to your own conclusions. But I could tell you one thing is for sure, that there is something seriously wrong happening, right? With many of the people running around having sex. And and, and we have to keep it one, man. Let's, we're, we're in the 100 Club right now, man, as far as I'm concerned. And when you get up in here, you have to accept these inconvenient truths. And the truth is that because men spill a lot of their semen and they're wasting a lot of the cerebral spinal fluid that is supposed to flow directly to their brain and and people that are highly sexually active these men that are highly sexually active that's all they fucking care about that's all they fucking think about they do some fucking borderline retarded shit right let's just come on man they do some borderline retarded shit because of this fact and the consequence is not only are they losing their life force, but they're losing a lot of, you know, their awareness and their strength. You know, men, you know, why do men get ED? You know, why do men, you know, have all these problems, right? Why do men, you know, lose their sexual stamina at such a, at, at such a um, younger age? And why is it accepted as normal? Because I personally think we are not being taught these types of practices, these types of strategies that can preserve our life and preserve our health because it's the same thing. They are intimately connected, right? So, you know, I think men and women, okay, so let's let's do a quick review, okay? 
you know, ultimately, the man and the woman have to be taught and have to accept. Well, they, you know, again, I, I don't know. I think that in terms of sexual frustration, I think that a lot of that can be decreased. I'm not going to say you have to do these things, but if you want to decrease your frustration, if this is something that you can relate to, then understand that, you know, you have to, to study creation. You have to study, you know, looking especially into the divine feminine energy, look into where you came from, look into where we all came from, which is the divine, the divine feminine energy, right? We all came from a womb. We all came from a hole. We all came from some type of portal, right? We don't really know much other than that, but we know that the mother or the feminine energy is, is, is the gateway to creation that creates life, right? And this, is ha this has created a lot of things in this reality where, you know, we'll get into another time. But if you look into really the fundamentals of creation, the fundamentals of sex and really what it's here for and really who you're supposed to connect with to on a sexual level and what for then you will have such a stronger bond with this practice. It won't be so superficial. It won't be something that, you know, it, there's nothing more frustrating than taking like a powerful uh, instrument, right? And just wasting it. Just wasting as if, as if it doesn't do anything at all. And that's what's happening a lot is that many people are just using their magic and just fucking wasting it to create lucky charms and shit like you know rolling over snoring waking up and taking a piss and scratching their ass because that's what happens when you don't use these forces you don't you don't have a connection with your partner you don't have a you're not creating some type of magical um mystical ritual with this practice with these sacred instruments right these these two forces come together and create life and that is that is amazing in itself but once you look deeply into people that have <laughs> dedicated their whole lives to these things you start to see that it gets much deeper and you can really connect with your partner on such a more profound level than you ever imagined which amplifies the sexual experience right and then once you channel that energy into not only, you know, your relationship, but your life, your goals and the dream for the world, this, this is real people, right? This isn't fucking grinder and all these, you know, hookup apps, <laughs> right? But we see it, man. Like we got to keep it one. Okay. So blah, blah, blah. The second thing, man, is to understand really what the life force is, Right. Are you, are, what are you doing with it, man? The sexual energy has, it, it, who you are as a person is a manifestation of how you're managing your sexual energy, right? So if you're creative, you know, if you're in the flow, if you're, you know, are able to relieve yourselves and stay centered, then you might have, you, you might be able to manage your sexual energy. If you're not, if you're frustrated, you know, all the time, if you're always going through something, you know, there's always some shit happening, you you never feel like you can get a break, blah, 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 then you might want to look at how you're managing these forces, how you're managing, right, these fluids, because this is real. And you could have supplements and drinks and, you know, eat right and exercise and really take care of yourself, which has a profound effect on everything else, including these fluids, including the sexual energy. And that way, people, right, I truly feel will not have all the sexual frustration and they will not do things strictly out of um, out of the desire, you know, for sex, I think, because it will be so much more. Um, so much more real. Right. And I want to say just one last thing. OK, is that for the men in particular, I've seen this my whole life until this day. And I think it's it's become a lot more intense as I've grown older. But really, a lot of men have this idea in their minds that the alpha male, aggressive, hostile, uh, violent attitude 
is what attracts women, right? Because what happens is, is that men go through an experience when they're young that they start to see that the women they're attracted to are attracted to men that have those characteristics. And this creates a lot of confusion in their development because they start to become these things in order to attract the women that denied them when they were young. And a lot of people running around doing violent things and getting caught up in a lot of that bullshit is really just sexually frustrated, right? You know, like all that bullshit when you go in the club, like, man, we're in the club, we're in a bar, we're supposed to be having a good time, we're supposed to be socializing. Many people go in there these days and just want to have somebody look at them wrong, <laughs> you know, so they could chunk. And it's like, it's crazy. And I know that's been around for a long time, right? It's not like this is anything new, but all I'm saying is that I've seen it grow a lot more intense. And again, this, this, this type of, I think, attitude right? This type of um, outcome can easily be avoided if people learned really the sexual kung fu, because that's, that's actually what it's called, <laughs> and then started to teach others, you know, really what those things between your legs are for. All right, motherfucker? Until next time, cleanse yourself, goddammit.